President Barack Obama has called Prime Minister David Cameron distracted when dealing with a crisis in Libya. In an interview with Atlantic magazine, the President expressed his happiness at an initially successful operation, but regretted the mess they was in. This, he felt, was down to Britain's attitude in the time after Gaddafi fell. Damola Akinsai is here to shed more light on the story. Damola, explain briefly the relationship between Britain, America and Libya. Basically, these three countries are members of the United Nations, but the relationship became so when the UN leaders felt that the former president of Libya was melting out unfair treatments to its citizens and violating human rights. Consequently, they have been, they had to send UN-backed airstrikes to topple the government. So what's the situation like in Libya now? Right now in Libya, the state is like, um, the country is in a state of anarchy because there isn't any clear control or power in place. And there are two groups fighting to be in power right now. Some of them are even affiliated to the so-called Islamic State. And because this intervention was led by France and Britain, President Barack Obama has said that he had more faith in Europeans to have given a proper follow-up on the aftermath of the intervention. Okay, so what has been the Prime Minister's reaction to this statement? Basically, in January, Prime Minister David Cameron said that, and I'm going to quote a statement, that the Libyan people were given the opportunity to build a stable government, but it's been a huge regret that they had not taken it. Now, in response to Barack Obama's interview, a spokesman for Downing Street has said that coming to the aid of innocent civilians who were being tortured and killed by their leaders was the right thing to do. However, the government, that's the UK government, will continue to work to help Libya, sorry, Libya to, you know, have a stable government and a peaceful coexistence for all of them. Thank you, Tamola. You're welcome.